Hello everyone. Till our last class, we had studied about the introduction to error modeling and a brief introduction to the procedures to be followed during the construction. So I hope you, you have all studied or you have all watched the previous videos. If not, please go and watch it. So according to the procedure, the first step you have to follow is to make your plan ready. So to make your plan, you have to start with design calculation. So today let's learn about the design calculations of your RC plane. Uh, before starting the design calculation, I would like to uh, tell few parameters uh, and I assume you know the basic parts, the wing, fuselage and the tail section. So the wing section would look something like this in the side view. The cross section may look something like this. Yes, right? Yeah, the, this portion. This is called as leading edge. And this portion is called as trailing edge so the horizontal distance from leading edge to trailing edge is known as your chord length so yeah from the wing leading edge to the wing trailing edge the width is called as chord length and the length of the wing is called as wing span and it is denoted by small letter b so this is your chord length this is your wing span and this is the fuselage length and this is the horizontal stabilizer elevator and uh, uh, in the side view i'll show you the vertical stabilizer and rudder and this is aileron, the control surface. And you'd be wondering why I have used two different kind of ailerons here. So the one which is on my left, and this is running continuously throughout the span, half span. So these kind of ailerons are called as strip ailerons. Whereas this is not uh, running continuously. You can find the difference, I guess. The width of this is much greater than the strip ailerons. You can use any one of them for your RC planes. So the one more parameters when it comes to the wing is aspect ratio. Okay. It is called as aspect ratio. And it is defined as span square, that is B square, by wing area. This is span square. So, as you are seeing, I have used a rectangular wing here. So, for a rectangular wing, the area will be, uh, you all know, right, the rectangular mm -hmm. area, that is length into breadth. So here it is chord length into wing span. So wing area I can write it as span into the chord length. And this is span square. I can write it as span into span. So span span get cancels. For a rectangular wing, the aspect ratio is span, wing span, wing span by chord length. So this aspect ratio determines the gliding uh, performance of your RC plane. Like uh, if the wing span is greater, the wing span, the wing span is proportional 
directly proportional to your aspect ratio so as the wingspan increases your aspect ratio increases that is as the wingspan increases the gliding uh, performance of your wing increases the one more important parameter is wing loading wing loading it is defined as all up weight of all up weight of your aircraft to the wing area so this determines how much load can your wing take so these are the important parameters and the third one is this is required for calculation if you are using uh, tapered wing so that is taper ratio that is tip cord to the root cord the this is the tip this is the tip cord and the cord here this is the root cord so the ratio of tip to root cord is given by taper ratio now let's get into the calculation part <coughs> so whenever you are starting with your calculation uh, you can start by fixing your wingspan or by fixing your cord length so today in this video i am fixing my cord length and then continuing the calculation procedure so i'll i'll cons i'll prefix my cord like i'll assume my cord length to be c my cord length to be c and then according to this dimension i am sizing all other parts so once you have uh, fixed your cord length so accord there are few thumb rules which we use in aero modeling so according to that your wing should be so according to that the wing span the wing span should be um, Five to six times of your cord, of your cord length. So by fixing my cord, now I am calculating my wing span. So wing span is five to six times of my cord length. So now we know the cord length, we know the wing span. So the wing area for a rectangular wing would be C into B. so your cord will be in meter mm inches whichever is uh, preferable for you and in the same way you'll get the wing area maybe in square meters or mm square whichever so it depends on you which unit you wants to use so we calculate the wing area we have got the uh, cord span wing area in rectangular wing both the wing Uh, root cord and the tip cord remain same so now let's calculate for the fuselage when it comes to the fuselage the overall length of the fuselage is considered to be 70 to 75% percent, 70 to 75% percent of wing span <laughs> Seventy to seventy-five percent of wingspan is taken as your total fuselage length. But in this fuselage also, let's divide it into two parts. So one is from the start to the leading edge of the wing. Let us call it as F one, and this should be one to one point five times of your cord length. and the second is from the wing trailing edge to the stabilizer end so let's call it f2 and 
yeah, let's call it F2 and this should be equal to 2 to 3 times of your card length. So now we know the fuselage length and F1, F2. So the fuselage height will be um, height will be 10 to 15 percent of fuselage length fuselage length so the fuselage length height f1 f2 we know the thing uh, all these things so now let's come to the sizing of the control surface so let's get into the aileron sizing so the aileron the width of the aileron is 1 by 8 times of your card length 1 by 8 times of your card length uh, and this is a strip aileron so the length would be uh, complete your half span here the complete half span and uh, give some clearance here so that while uh, using your control surface there is there is no interruption with the uh, fuselage so the width is 1 by 8 times of card and the length is this much so area you can calculate and when it comes to the elevator and horizontal stabilizer this is your horizontal stabilizer and this is your elevator so the horizontal stabilizer so the horizontal stabilizer area will be equal to 15 to 20 percent of wing area so horizontal stabilizer area will be equal to 15 to 20 percent of wing area and the elevator area elevator area will be equal to 30 or like 20 to 30 percent of your horizontal stabilizer area horizontal stabilizer area so we know the areas of uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevator so the length of the horizontal stabilizer is approximately taken as hmm, let it here length of horizontal stabilizer length of horizontal stabilizer will be approximately 30 to 40 percent or 45 percent of of your half wing span that is b by 2 so you know the length you know the area you can calculate the width using the area formula so if the horizontal stabilizer is rectangular then you can directly use the length into breadth formula to calculate the width uh, if it is tapered you can use a trapezoid formula to calculate the width so this is about the horizontal control surfaces so now let's come to the vertical stabilizer this is the vertical stabilizer and this is the rudder this is the rudder so the <coughs> area of vertical stabilizer is equals to the 33 percent of your horizontal 
stabilizer horizontal stabilizer area so this is area of your vertical stabilizer and when it comes to the rudder <coughs> rudder area is equals to 1 by 3 to 1 by 2 times of 2 times of the uh, vertical stabilizer area vertical stabilizer area so we know the area of a vertical stabilizer and rudder and the width will be <coughs> same as your uh, horizontal width root width um, so with with the help of the area formula you can calculate the length of the rudder so that is about the vertical stabilizer so we have covered almost all the parts of a RC plane fuselage wing a horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer so and the CG lies at 25 percent of the cord length this is the CG position it lies 25 percent of the at the from the leading edge 25 percent of the cord length so guys if you find the video was useful please like the video and subscribe to our channel and please leave your uh, suggestions like what kind of video do you expect from us so that we can work on it thank you